What the fuck is up, my britches? If you are new here, hello. My name is Brittany. In today's video, we are going to be doing another Throwback Thursday. I'm fucking loving this series. So I think I'm going to turn it into like a weekly thing. I'm just really into it. It's giving me an opportunity to really revisit my makeup collection. And I'm just fucking into it. We're not judging the way that my hair looks, okay? Look at this. <laughs> Guys, we're fixing it. We're not here to judge. This is a judge-free zone, okay? So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys like this video. If you guys are into this Throwback Thursday series, I'm feeling the fuck out of it. I'm loving it. If you are new and you've never seen one of these videos before, it's basically I look back at either old videos or I just kind of pull from my collection. That's basically like my philosophy behind this whole thing. For this video, um, I had a few people ask for this Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I thought to myself, I'm like, when did I buy that palette? So I bought this palette in 2018 and I actually found the haul video that I actually hauled this. So I have that linked in the description box along with all the products that I'm going to talk about from that haul video. Some of them I've decluttered, some of them I still have, some I still love, some I don't love, but I still have them. It'll be a whole situation and I'm going to try everything on my face right now. So I have my brows already done. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Anastasia Beverly Hills. Wow. Brow is in the shade soft brown. I have the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. That's the base that's on my eyes right now. And I blended that out with my BK Beauty 205. That's how I just kind of set my entire lid space. And then everything else. Oh, I also have the um the Milk Make Wow. <laughs> Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So that's everything that's on my face right now. I first want to say hello to all my bridges in the live chat. Bridges! What's good? What's poppin'? How you guys doing? I'm already like sweating. <laughs> I just got like a, a hot flash. Oh my God. It must be this Malibu Sprite and Lime. What are you guys drinking tonight? You guys having cocktails out there? Happy Thursday. Today's my payday. So that's always a good day. Um, What are you guys doing? How you guys holding up? Uh, my excuse to drink wine time. <laughs> Nicole, I fucking love that. <laughs> I mean, who needs an excuse though? I mean, honestly, first things first, did you guys share this video? Did you guys like this video already? If you guys haven't, it takes two seconds. Even if you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down. I don't give a shit. It, it, it tells me what you guys like and don't like to see. That's basically what thumbs up and down tells me. And then when you guys share it on your Twitter, share it on your Insta story, like take a picture of the screen, tag me in it. So I see that you guys share it. It's just fun and it gets more britches up in here. We love that. So let me scroll to the top. We have Amber, Kimberly. If you're watching the playback, just skip ahead a little bit and you'll get past like me saying hello to everybody. Uh, we have Sherry. What's up, girl? We have Wendy, Leah, Trish, Tamara. We have Nicole, Anna Marie. We have Sonal. Sonal, what's up, girl? Oh, we have Heather Austin. Guys, if you have not checked out Heather's channel yet, what the fuck are you doing? I'm just wondering. She is the sweetest thing ever. Go check out Heather's channel. She's the bomb. We have Aurora, Sierra. We have Katie. Oh my God. So many of you guys in here. Julie, Renee. Oh my God. I'm loving this right now. Katie, chilling my inner basic bridge and having a white claw. You are such a basic ass bridge. Right? <laughs> I, I'm not really a fan of white claws. I like the fact that they're... Um, healthier. <laughs> I don't feel as guilty when I drink White Claws. I still drink them, but they're not the fave. It's like, I really don't want to feel bloated the next day. That's when I drink the White Claws. Okay. So I'm going to jump right into it. So I think I'm going to do two looks on my eyes. I'm going to tell you guys the brushes I'm using. I'm going to do Urban Decay Born to Run palette. In, it was on my community page is where I had you guys vote on like what you guys wanted to see today. Cause I was going to do a dedicated video to the NARS orgasm X cheek palette because I can't stop fucking wearing that palette. Like when you guys watch that video, I'm just going to be selling it to you for like 20 minutes straight because I am so in love with that palette. So I was going to do that or a throwback Thursday and you guys voted mostly for throwback Thursday. And I had a couple people request for the born to run. And this is where I was like, this, is, this isn't really my vibe for this time of year because some people were saying that they thought this was more like spring, summer. This to me rolls more like fall, winter, just my preference, but I'm going to see what I could do to make it look more of like this time of the year appropriate. My favorite shade in this palette is this one right over here. This is my favorite palette still to this day. My favorite palette that I've had from Urban Decay. I personally... 
we'll get into Urban Decay. I don't personally purchase Urban Decay palettes when they initially launch anymore, just because they always go on sale for half price. Never fails. I think this is the only one I've seen this go on sale before, but more times than not, like they usually launch and then like six months later, they're on sale for half the price. It's happened with damn near every single palette that Urban Decay has done. This palette though, I would pay full price for because I think this is one of the best palettes that they've done between quality, color story. Like I love everything about it. I mean, we can't forget about the original Naked palette because that was a fave. That'll forever be a fave. But this one, close second. I'm going to say that. So let me first, before I get into it, I want to talk about the, the products that I don't have anymore just to get them out of the way. Or do you want me to cover that last? Because I might be able to do it throughout the video, like as I'm doing my makeup. Let, let's try doing that just so I can kind of get this done, hopefully in a quick fashion. I had somebody comment yes the other day. They're like, oh my God, thank God it's not a live video. So it's not super long. I'm like, I like my long video. <laughs> but I get it. Not everybody can watch our plus long videos. We'll start doing this and then I'll kind of talk about other products that I either, I'll talk about the ones that I've decluttered first. So first that I've decluttered is there's a couple from Flower Beauty. I purchased four different things from Flower Beauty during this haul. I purchased the um, the full coverage concealer, the illusion, and the light illusion foundation. I decluttered both of those just because they were not my favorites whatsoever. I'm going to first go in with the shade Still Shot. I'm using my Esum G34. So I don't know. I hear a lot of great things about those like Flower Beauty products. I just never really understood the hype of them. Oh, I got to I gotta blend this out really quick. This does end up falling in my creases if I let it sit on too long. Okay, now let's go in with Still Shot. Anywho, back to what I was saying. The Flower Beauty Complexion products, they just did not look very flattering on my skin, I don't think. I felt in, like, in videography, I felt like they looked really nice, like, on camera, on video. But as far as in real life, they looked very heavy on my skin. So they just... They weren't it for me, sis. So I ended up decluttering both of those. I think that there's just other like better concealers and foundations. They reminded me a lot of each other. I felt like the formulas were very similar between the two. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not a fan. And that was pretty much what it was. It just didn't look flattering. And then the concealer, I was like, there's just other ones that I like better, especially at the drugstore. So that's going to be the shade Still Shot. It's the one right up here. Um, I love the flower foundation, but the lightest shade is so dark on me. Yeah, I remember that the, like, color selection was so, so bizarre. I remember that being a thing. Like, I had a really hard time figuring out, like, what shade that I wanted to get. I'm next going to take my BK Beauty 202 brush, and then I want to take the shade. I'm going to stick with oranges because we're, we're trying to be summer, and I'm going to take this BK brush. Do you guys like or don't like the Flower Beauty products? I'm going to try to like multitask like a mofo in this video. We'll see if I fail epically. So far, I am loving these BK Beauty brushes. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys this too. If I'm going to use it today, I was talking about a brush that I love from BK Beauty, the Contour 101, like the Contour Foundation brush. It's restocking in two weeks. If you go on, oh, I just dipped in the wrong shade. If you go on the BK Beauty website, if you've been wanting that brush, you can be notified by email if you do like the sign up. And then I do have um, the BK Beauty discount code if you guys want to use it. It's not affiliate. It's just a discount code for you guys. Um, Maytel says, flower products irritated my skin. I didn't notice an irritation or anything like that. I just was like, yeah, they're okay. Like they weren't anything special to me. Um, I've never gotten into Flower Beauty. I used to hear amazing things about them, and now I have a really hard time finding Flower Beauty. Sitting on my porch watching Bridget, <laughs> watching Brit, I declutter the flower concealer too. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I heard so many people raving about it, and I was just like, eh, I don't I don't understand it. Oh, Shane, it must be home now. Um, has everyone hit the like button? Guys, guys, did you like this video yet? <laughs> Ozzy has the most annoying bark of all time. I swear to God. Okay, let me take, hold on. Let me get my next brush. I'm going to take my Sonia G. 
<laughs> I love how Kiki Sweat says it. She says it's so good. I'm going to take, I think I'm gonna take the shade Punk, this one down here. And then I forget what else I was saying. I'm just gonna focus this right on the outer. Oh, oh God. <laughs> That's why I do my eyes first, you guys, so I can wipe it off if I fuck up like that. And if you are new to my channel, oh my God, Ozzy, shut the front door right now. If you guys are new to my channel, I do have hooded eyes. So if you notice how high I take my eyeshadows, it's because I have hooded eyes. And I always follow a very, very, very similar, like, technique when I do my eyes it's just because it's what I like on my eye shape so I usually go from like lighter to darker sometimes I'll do like a halo eye I hope you guys <laughs> don't mind my dog barking he is the absolute worst like his bark is terrible and he never stops okay anywho back to the chat <laughs> Kimberly's loving the teal hair it's I did it just because it's the only like <laughs> shade that I have right now because I forgot like all the stores are closed. So I was like, well, I guess this is the shade that I'm going with this round. I'm going to take the shade Accelerate on my Sigma. This is the E33. Oh my God. Okay. Do you guys follow me on Instagram? I posted a picture with me and my doggies today and it's so fucking cute. Me and my mom were landscaping this morning before I drowned it myself. Drowned? Drowned myself in wedding edits for the rest of the day. But my mom, I was laying down on the ground with my dogs and my mom took a picture for me. And I forgot to include this when I posted it on my community page about the e.l.f. Cosmetics and Jay Kissa collection. They're doing something on Instagram right now. Like if you tag, or no, I don't even think you have to tag. If you hashtag eyes, lips, face, paws, if you do that hashtag and then if you post a selfie with like you and your dog, Elf is donating like $1 per selfie to like a nonprofit pit bull rescue. I posted it on my Instagram today. If you have pupperoos in your life, make sure you do that because that's such an awesome little charity that they're doing. Um, I'm going to take the Worker Pro from Sonia G. Let me get back to what I hauled that I decluttered already. So let's see. The next one is going to be the Too Faced Born This Way Super Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Wow, that is a fucking title right there. So I really love that concealer. I still love that concealer. I decluttered mine. I had two different shades. That's when you know I love a concealer is if I have multiple shades of it. So I ended up decluttering it just because... It wasn't performing the way that I had remembered it performing, like when I went back to use it. So I just think it got old. So still love that one. Little update. I still love that one. I just decluttered it just because I'm going to use a different concealer today. I'm going to use my Dior Undercover, I think, because that's the one that I just got during my recent Sephora haul. Are you guys liking when I'm like revisiting old videos? Do you like it? Um, Kat says, love the doggy pick, Brit. Thanks, girl. Oh, that whole Born This Way complexion line was so yellow-toned. I do agree with that. Um, I never really saw it, though, after, like, Jackie Ina did her collab with them. Like, did it improve after that? I'm not really sure. I don't remember seeing anything, honestly. Um, next, I want to take... Oh, my God. It's so hot in here right now. Holy shit. <laughs> Good thing you guys can't see my armpits because I'm about to be pit sweating like a mofo. Okay, let me take this Esum. This is the W21. If you need like a packer brush for metallics, this is the only brush you need in your life. I've mentioned this in recent favorites videos. It's the fucking bomb.com. Okay. I'm going to take the shade Stranded and I'm going to use my Esum W21. Even like my multi-chromes, this is like my favorite packer brush because it's like I don't it basically gives me the effect of I use my finger without having to use my finger. So I can get a lot more precision with this brush. Oh, let's see. Let's see. How long do you keep your concealers for? I keep them until they either look funky, they smell funky. Basically, if it gets to the point where I'm like, okay, this isn't performing the way that it normally does, that's when I get rid of it. I don't keep track because let's be honest, I buy so much damn makeup. I don't keep track of like when I buy shit. 
I mean, clearly, like the stuff I'm using is two years old right now. <laughs> so yeah, some of them last longer than others. I think I had that Too Faced one for at least like a year, year and a half. But yeah, until it like, like smells bad. Smell is a big thing for me because I'm very sensitive to smells. So it's like as soon as it smells bad, that's when I'm like, okay, I better, I better <laughs> get rid of this one. Um, love that brush, girl. It's so good, right? Mm. The shade I bought was terrible on me. I gave it more off oh, to a pale friend. Okay. Um, let me see. Kimberly says we have 38 likes, guys. We have 51 people watching right now. I'll wait. By the way, are you subscribed? Because going by my analytics, a lot of you guys that watch aren't subscribed. That's a problem. I'm going to come for you in about two seconds. I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, if you haven't liked this video yet, <laughs> like this video. <laughs> okay, so next one. Let me see the next product that I have decluttered. Let's see. This one I still have. I'll talk about the Belief Aqua Playland set. So this was like a gift set. I got the, I did this haul in July. So I think this was like a summer set or something like that. It was the Aqua Bomb moisturizer. And then it had like a mini size of the Aqua, the Aqua Bomb eye cream, I think. And then it had like a Hungarian water essence in it. I'm pretty sure that's like the little trio that it came with. So it was basically, if you bought a full size of the Aqua Bomb, the Aqua Bomb moisturizer. I don't think I said that. There's a sleeping mask. It was the moisturizer. I used to love that moisturizer, but Tatcha is ruling my life. Okay. I am such a Tatcha Dewy skin cream. <sighs> oh, I love it so much. I'm so into that product. I have that as like the base of my skin right now. It's my favorite of all time. So I have not repurchased the Aqua Bomb moisturizer since then. I still like that one. It's just not moisturizing enough for me. I would say the Aqua Bomb is better if you have oily skin. And then the Aqua Bomb moisturizer, like there's two different ones. There's one that's more of like a gel consistency. That one I think is better for oily skin. And then there's like an actual like cream or, yeah, I would say it's like a cream. That one is better for if you have dry skin, but the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, I'm telling you, nothing can touch Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream for me. I love it so much. So that one, I have not repurchased it. So I didn't declutter. I used it and then... I just never repurchased. I might have repurchased it like after this haul. I can't remember because I didn't go back through all of my hauls. But since I would say within like the past year, I have not touched any other like any other belief moisturizer since then. Okay. Anywho, next one is going to be the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I had this as like a sample size. I'm pretty sure I got it as like a free sample with my with my order or whatever. Let me go to my other eye. This is all I'm gonna do on this side. Basic ass look, let's just be honest. I'm gonna go in with these pinks. I wanna use the pinks now, like pinks and purple. That's kind of calling my name. So let's get some new brushes. I'm gonna first take the BK Beauty, that was, oh my God, the 201 brush. <laughs> I'm gonna take, what shade do I wanna use first? I wish there was a lighter shade than this, but I'm going to start with this one. <laughs> Quit convincing me of things. <laughs> okay, so that Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. That was one of my least favorite foundations I think I've ever worn because it sit on top of my skin so bad. I even think I threw out like the sample size. Like that's when you know it ain't it, sis. So that foundation, I've never purchased the full size. I never like tried to get another sample because that's another thing I'm so prone to doing is if I fall in love with like a sample size, I'll keep trying to get more sample sizes. <laughs> but that one I didn't do. Like I remember when there was like a Tatcha Dewy skin cream, like when they had like 100 point perks, I bought so many <laughs> just because I'm like, oh my God, I know I love that product. I want to get it. Okay, this is pulling so much more purple than I was expecting it to. Oh, wowza. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me see if there's any other ones that I've decluttered since. So I hit um or got rid of. I'll say got rid of. The Glam Glow Insta Mud Pore Refining Treatment. It was the it was like the pore refining treatment. It had like a yellow packaging. I got a sample size. Here's how much 
<laughs> it didn't really impact me is I don't even remember using it at all. Maybe I didn't even use it. So that tells me I didn't care enough about using it. So that one, I don't ha really have any comments. Have you guys ever tried that? It's got like the bright yellow packaging. It's supposed to be meant for basically like if you're prepping for makeup and stuff. I just was, uh, I was not into it whatsoever. Um, <laughs> adds e some W25 to list of approved brushes. The W21, the W21, this one, W21. It's the best brush of all time. You're all welcome. I'm just saying it's so good. Okay. Let me take, I'm going to take this refer brush. This is the refer 01. Looks like this. I'm trying to wipe off the pigment on here. Um, let's see. I wanted to, ch I wanted the B, oh, border on palette since it launched, but Natasha Nona and Pat takes all of my money. Oh my God, for real Z's. I was saying in the beginning of this video, I'm like, I honestly just, I don't ever, this is one of the exceptions because I was so excited about this. Cause I'm pretty sure that it launched like right around the time when I purchased it. And I was like, Ooh, this will be so good for fall and winter time. And I feel like everybody was so excited about this palette. So that's why I like ran out and bought it as soon as it, I don't think it was like the day that it dropped, but it was like, as soon as it was available at Ulta, that's when I bought it in store. At least I think that's what happened. I still really enjoy this palette, but this for me is definitely like a fall. It's a fall winter palette for sure for me. I love these types of shades on my eyeballs though. Like the purples. Mm. And usually I have a hard time with purples being like patchy. Like look how nice that blends. It blends so nice. I'm totally still into this palette. I would still recommend it. I would still pay full price for it. It's just Urban Decay. They're just, I mean, it's a habit. It's, they always launch their palettes and then like six months later, they're half off. Never fails. Um, the best samples I've gotten are Marc Jacobs Youthquake and the Tatcha Rice Polish. I love the Tatcha Rice Polish. Um, let me see what other products I haul. I'm like jumping all over. Okay, the Real Techniques. The Miracle Body Sponge. You guys remember when I used to use that big ass, that big ass blending sponge? I have not purchased that in a minute. I've been using this BK Beauty Sponge a lot. And I would still repurchase that Real Technique sponge though. I love the fact that it's massive. I'm taking that same W21 and taking Wild Heart. I wish this had more varieties in like the pinks with this palette, but whatever. I'm not going to complain too much about it. I'm just going to put this right on. My lid here, full disclaimer, my eye looks never come out good when I do them live. I'm just saying, because I'm paying attention to so many more things. But that's when I know, like if this eye look comes out good, that's how I know this is a good palette because I'm not paying attention to what the hell I'm doing. And if it comes out good, that's a win. That is a win. If you wanted this to pop a little bit more, you could put down like a white concealer or a really light coverage concealer or something like the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer that has like a, it's not a white base, but it's, it's pretty close. That's not as, let me try my finger, but it's not as like poppy as I wanted it to be. Let me add, let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. What the hell product was I just talking? Oh, the face and body sponge or the miracle body sponge. I freaking love that thing. That's like, if, if you love a sponge, I haven't repurchased it because I was on a brush kick for a hot minute <laughs> and I wasn't using sponges really at all. Still one of the favorites though. It's like nine bucks at Ulta. Definitely one of my favorite sponges of like all time. I love it. And it's, it's no shit. It's like, it'll take up this much of your face. It gets your foundation done so fucking fast. Mm. Let me see. Let me see what you guys are saying. I forget I have that palette. I'm going to pull it back out. See, that's why I love this throwback Thursday. Because it's like, oh my God, I forgot I had that palette. Let me use it. <laughs> if you Did you guys see my empties video yesterday? I actually filmed a throwback Thursday with that look. Like I had a bunch of old products on my face for that. And then my mom showed up. So I couldn't finish filming. Because we've been doing like landscapes, landscaping out front for part of the day. So I was starting to film that. And she showed up. I'm like, God damn it. And then I was just like... I don't know. I really didn't love like 
the footage that I had of it either. So I was like, eh, we're just going to do it live. I think doing these live is just fun because you guys are like seeing me play with the products and it's just like, it's just a situation and I love it. Let me see. Loving the purple eye. Yes, girl. I always love purple eyes. They look so good. Okay. Let me take, what brush do I want to use? I want to add some purple in here, but what do I want to do? This is like how I do my makeup. I'm always like, wait, what do I want to do? I'm going to try taking. Yeah, I'm like, I want this to be more vibrant just because like spring, summer. That's why I think this is a fall, winter palette. I would not buy this palette right now. I would buy this palette as like September, October time. Cause I think this is so nice for fall, winter, but Lord knows there's probably going to be so many palettes between now and then. Let's just be honest. Let me take, I'm going to take the shade guilt trip. I'm going to throw that out here. This probably isn't going to do much because this doesn't look very pigmented. This is going to be more of like a, it looks like a satin shade in the pan just to kind of deepen up these areas here. This is why I love this W21. It's like, you can get so precise with it and you can, it's like a multitasker type of brush. You can blend, but my favorite thing to do with this brush is to um, apply like my metallics and my multi-chromes. It's the best brush. I'm going to take the shade Breakaway, this one up here. This could potentially ruin everything. Praise Jesus, it doesn't. I want to add this Just right on the center. I want the center to be more like poppy. This isn't a metallic though. This is probably like a, this is more of like a brow bone highlight shade. But she's still cute though. Not all of my looks need to be vibrant and metallic, Brittany. <laughs> Guilty. I'm you, I always like resort to doing the same type of looks. That's why I try to switch it up for this side, just so it's not like my classic, like how I did this side over here. I feel like this palette's very wearable. You know what I mean? It's like a, I don't know, you don't really have to think about it. It's just easy. It blends really nice. It's not anything too, like, intense, though. Like, the metallics aren't super vibrant or anything like that. My favorite shade, though, in this palette is this one down here. I'm going to give you guys a swatch of it because I think it's Gorgina. This reminds me of something that would be like a, Mata a Matasha, Natasha Denona. Like, look how beautiful it is. Mmm, that one's so good. And then the shade Drift. Oh, this is another really nice one. I stay flipping you guys off in my videos. <laughs> but they're not like, they're not poppy metallics. Like, I love, not like Makeup Geek, not like Natasha Denona. They're more... They're more wearable, I think. I think they're ideal for if you have, like, mature eyelids as well. So that's all I'm going to do, I think, up there. You know what? Let me take out. Here's a little throwback Thursday. Let me take out this Cover FX. This is the Shimmer Veil in the shade Amethyst. Let's pop this on the center. Oh, my God. I haven't used this in a minute. But I remember this being Gorgina. These are a little difficult to work with, though, because I feel like they pick up, like, the shadow. See, it's already doing it. God damn it. I shouldn't have done that. But in true Brit fashion, let's fix your fuck-ups. <laughs> that needs to be a series on my channel. I need to do it, but I'm like, <laughs> I could seriously have that in, like, every single video. Fix your fuck-up. Um... I think you guys are talking about the Kaleidos palette that's coming out. Um, definitely on my list of palettes to buy for sure. I think Karen Harris, if you guys have dark skin, I think she posted her swatch party yesterday. Okay, I'm not loving how this looks. That's like this would be a product for a throwback Thursday moment. I would declutter that because it picks up all of the shadow that was underneath. Like, it's like a Monet. It's It looks good from far away, but if you look up close, all the shadow that I had underneath is, like, gone. 
So this, I'd be like, nope, girl, bye. So that's what we're going to do. Decluttered. You guys seen it. You guys seen it. So that was the Cover FX Shimmer Veil. But we're still going to keep it on there and we're going to carry on. Let me see. Let me refer back to, so we talked about the Real Techniques body sponge. We talked about the concealer from Too Faced. I got a lot of like duplicate type of products. I think that was everything. Oh, this is a product that I used up and I just don't repurchase it anymore. The Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I just don't, per I don't support that brand anymore. So I have not purchased it since then. Okay. I know a lot of people talk about that setting spray and say it's amaze balls and all sorts of things. I think it's a good setting spray if you want to just like melt the powders into your face. But if you want it to help with like longevity, nay, nay. It, it does not help for longevity of makeup. At least it doesn't for me. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go back to this eye here. I'm going to take the shade Punk on my refer. This is the 03. This is the brush I feel like everybody talks about. It's just a tiny, tiny pencil brush. And I'm basically going to do the same exact thing that I did on the top. I'm going to start darker and work my way lighter. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side here. So I'm going to take the shade How Ride. It's just that it's the purple that looks like it's pink. Now another disclaimer. This would not take me this long if I was not talking and trying to do 8,000 different things at one time. A look like this would take me like five minutes. What are you guys talking about in the live chat? I love that you guys are talking to each other. That's like my favorite thing to see is you guys talking and getting excited about makeup with each other while I'm over here sweating balls. Not that I have balls, but you know what I mean. So I took that all along the waterline and then I'm going to take that Sonia G, the Worker Pro. I'm wiping it off. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the shade Baja. And I'm going to focus this on the center. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to run this all the way underneath. Help blend this out a little bit more. And then I like to almost like connect. I'll grab a little bit of that punk shade. And then I like to basically just connect the corners from the top and the bottom. I'll just kind of marry the two together. Sometimes I'll do like the, the wing. But this is why I like doing eyes first because I could always go in with a makeup wipe and just be like, whoop, wing, bam. I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to take the shade Wild Heart and just run this under here. And then that's all I'm going to do for right now on the eyeballs because then we can get into some other products that I hauled that I still have. And there's one more product that I hauled that I decluttered. Two more products. First one is going to be a highlighter palette. This Flower Beauty, like this is where I say like when I declutter my makeup, I put it like aside. I haven't gotten rid of anything yet and I kind of see if I reach for it again. These I have not reached for yet. The Flower Beauty, this little highlighter palette. I think this is nice. It's a really nice, I would say it's a really nice drugstore option for a highlighter palette. It's like it has a beaming effect. They're just very like they're not creamy. They're kind of chalky and they're kind of thick, but they're like, they're nice. They're really pretty. It's just one. I have so many highlighters in my collection. This is going to be one of those products. I'm like, if you're in the market for an affordable, like an affordable drugstore option for a highlighter palette, I would consider this one. But in my collection, I have other ones that are just so much more high quality. I don't really like the packaging, but the biggest thing for me is the way that like these pick up. They're just, they're like almost like chunky and a little bit powdery. It's just not my favorite formula for highlighter. So this was the first one I decluttered. And then the next one is going to be the Too Faced Peachy Mattes. I got this on sale. I got this for like half off or something like that. I just never reached for it. And it's an all matte palette. I just don't love all matte palettes. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. This was, it was nice. It was okay. I never really reached for it because I didn't feel like the quality was like that fantastic. Like I feel like everybody was raving about this palette. That's why I bought it. But it's like, it's it's okay. It smells like peaches, which that's cute. But 
Yeah, I felt like the shade Peach Sangria, like this shade was super duper chalky. I like the shade Fruit, was it Peach Punch? I almost said Fruit Punch. I really like this shade here, but I have so many of these shades already in my collection. So I was like, you know what? I don't use it. I don't like it. I'm just getting rid of it. So those two I did already declutter. Um, Sherry says, I need more than mattes. Yeah, I like to feel like inspired by a palette. Like, for example, like the, <laughs> the Born to Run palette, like, first of all, the packaging is 10 out of 10. It's so cute. But when I look at this, I'm just like, ooh, fall, winter. Like, I have options. I have mattes. I have metallics. I have shimmers. I have all sorts of things in here. But I just really like how this color story, like, works together. And it just gives me, like, a grungy type of fall look that I would love. But, like, this shade right here, like, sold me on the palette. I thought it was so pretty. So, ultimately, I still really like this palette. So, that's all I'm going to do for the eyeballs for now. Now let's get into, I already primed. Let's get into these Makeup Revolution. These are the fast based stick, stick foundations. <laughs> oh my God. I have two shades. These are two years old. These are the same shades that I initially bought. I got the shade F10 and F13. F13 I use for like a cream bronzer and then F10 I got this one for like a foundation. But I need to put on my concealer first before I get ahead of myself. Actually, let me put on some Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter just because why not? It's so good. I have, I don't know if you guys heard me earlier, I have the Milk Makeup, the Hydro Grip Primer on my face right now. I don't like this primer. It feels like, you know what it feels like? It feels like you're putting a sleeping mask on. That's exactly what it feels like to me. So I'm just going to blend this out. I'm using my BK106 brush. I like using this as a primer because it gives me that radiance. You see that radiance right there? It gives me the radiance, but then it also serves as almost like a smoothing primer. Like not like a smoothing primer, like it fills in anything. It gives the effect of like a skin tone. It gives like a blurring effect. That's that's the phrase I'm looking for. It gives a very subtle blurring effect and I think it's Gorgina. So I like putting this on. I could use it as a, like a cream highlight as well. But I just wanted to put that on first. Okay. Concealer. I'm going to use my Dior. Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in the shade number 2N. This is the concealer. I purchased this in my recent Sephora haul. I've been using this one. I've been incorporating this one and Miss Anti Pat Concealer. Let's cover up the stash. This honestly reminds me of... It reminds me of the... Um, Oh my God, the Too Faced Multi-Purpose Concealer. I think this is a little bit better than that Too Faced one though. I think it looks pretty, prettier. <laughs> Aurora, Brits turned me into a Tatcha Ho. You're welcome. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I love Tatcha products. I love them so goddamn much. Am I wrong though, Aurora? Please correct me. Am I wrong? for how amazing Tatcha products are. Anybody out there that's purchased Tatcha because of me, please let me know. Am I wrong? Because I don't think I am. If I were to pick between the Dior and Pat McGrath though, I would pick Pat McGrath. I think Pat McGrath has more of, okay, let me not say that. Let me say if you want a more natural looking finish, I would go with Dior. If you want a more full coverage and flawless application, go with Pat McGrath. Because I think they're both beautiful. They're just different. They're very different. Dior is going to look a lot more natural. Whereas Pat McGrath, it's going to be like a, oh, you have concealer on, but it still looks really good. Like it looks amazing. <laughs> or I just says, not upset at all. Loving them. Yes, girl. The only thing I hate about Tatcha is just having to pay for it. Because I mean, it is expensive. <laughs> Um, I've never liked anything I've gotten from Makeup Revolution. I'm I'm not really a fan of Makeup Revolution, honestly. I don't love the fact that they, like, blatantly copy. Like, I understand that there's dupes. But when you, like, copy the packaging and everything, like, when you can easily mistake in the products for one another, I don't like that. Because, you know, there's companies that put time and effort and, like, creativity behind their brands and for a brand like makeup revolution which is a huge brand to just essentially do it like exact replicas of it i don't like that i don't like it at all 
I would say this is going to be like a medium coverage foundation as well. Or concealer. That's a Dior Forever. Okay, let's go in with this. Makeup Revolution. Fast Base Stick Foundation. So, two years later, I still really like this. I don't reach for it as often. I'm going to do it two different ways. Because this is how... This side is not how I typically do it. But I'm going to try it. Just for shits and gigs. So, I know some people like to do like the whole drawing on process. I personally like to like run my brush through it. I'm going to use this Royal and Langnickel, the BOM 35 contour. I usually like to run my brush through the product versus like applying it to my skin and blending it out. Just a preference thing. It's what I like. This is just a really beautiful cream bronzer for me. It reminds me a lot of like the Benefit Hula, the Benefit Hula cream. And I just think this is a perfect bronzer shade for me. It kind of reminds me of the Milk Makeup, the Baked Bronzer Stick a little bit. I think this one's a little bit more, I would say probably a little bit more warm tone. But I love how it gives me like that, I don't know, I love a cream bronzer because it just looks, one, it looks more natural. But then two, it's just like, I don't know, I think it looks more, it looks a lot more natural. But it gives me like a... I don't want to say like a glossy finish because it's not glossy. It just, it kind of looks like a sweaty look. I'm totally into that. Uh, let's see. Those Revolution sticks settled too much on me. By the way, and Wild Photo Focus Stick has behaved better on my skin. I've never tried the, what was it, Wet and Wild you said? I've never tried those ones. It was kind of like I had these, so I never felt the need to. Um, the shade that I'm using for, this is going to be a bronzer. It's not going to serve as a contour, at least for me. This is F13. I'll give you guys a swatch just so you guys could see what it looks like. I think it's like a dupe. I've never compared them side by side, but when I see like the Benefit Hula, it looks a lot like that. It might be a little bit more warm, but I think it's a really good cream bronzer shade on me. And this is two years old and still going strong. This is how I typically apply. Ooh, but I think I applied way too much. Let's Let's blend, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> I've never used this brush for applying this product before, so this picked up way, way more product than I was anticipating. But it's okay, we'll blend. We blend. Yeah, that picked it up like crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm so used to, like, I had a Sephora brush that I used to love for doing this. It was pretty much the same shape as this, maybe a little bit smaller but I couldn't ever find that brush. So that's why I started looking for other options for it. Ooh, this is so harsh right here. Hold on. Hold the phone. When I put, oh my God, foundation. When I put foundation over it, it won't look so crazy. Let's go down here. This is one thing. I really like this being a foundation though. I like that it's, I use like a cream foundation stick as a cream bronzer because I have a lot of like pigmentation back here. So since this is a foundation, it covers it. Like it has coverage to it. You know what I mean? So that's one reason why I really do like this product. I would still repurchase this one. Are you guys into this video? Do you guys like it? I'm going to take this sponge because we need to calm down. Um, I tell, I don't like Makeup Revolution. I had bought an eyeshadow palette from them a while ago, but it made me angry and I hated the colors. It didn't blend. It was just, <laughs> it was just bad. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't like, I don't look at their brand often. I'll just put it that way. They're not a brand that speaks to me. If anything, they're like a brand for me that I just see and I'm just like, yawn, next. Let me see. Let me take a sip. Oh my God. <laughs> Overshare. My butt is sweating right now. That's how hot I am. Wow. Okay. We're going to make that work. Okay, so that was the shade F13. Still love. Still recommend. That's that on that. And now I'm going to take the shade F10. And this is where I'll use this as a foundation. So, I don't use nearly as much foundation as I used to. But I haven't used this since I've changed up my routine. So let's hope this goes well. So this is that BK Beauty, the 101 brush I was talking about earlier. How it, this one's going to restock in two weeks, I believe. Mm, I love this brush. 
and then we'll just blend, 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 blend. I still feel like these shades look really good on my complexion right now. I like doing the step two after contour because then I could just clean up and then I can kind of blend over too to make it look a little bit more natural because Shannon's always coming for me talking about how I have a harsh line right there because I contour underneath my chin and I got double chins. <laughs> I'm like, let me live my life, okay? Just let me live. It is weird blending out a cream stick with this brush though, because I'm so used, it's always weird <laughs> blending out cream products anyways, like when I apply them to my face, I much prefer applying them to my brush first. Because I feel like I have so much foundation on my face right now, but it's because I'm not used to it anymore. I'm not used to applying makeup this way. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. I'm used to applying makeup this way. I'm not used to applying these products because I haven't used them in a while. Blending is the key. Yes, girl. Kimberly. Oh, no, I'm late. What did you use on your eyes? I used the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Okay, so for foundation, I do not like this as a foundation. I like this much better as a cream bronzer. I think this reminds me a lot of the Hourglass Seamless, like was it the Vanish Seamless Stick Foundation? It reminds me a lot of that. I think if you like cream foundations, you might like this. It looks a little bit heavier than I typically, like I feel like I have so much makeup on my face right now. That's why I don't really love this one for foundation because it feels very heavy. At least for bronzer, it's back here, so I don't really feel it. But now I feel like I have so much shit on my face. And then I'm not really liking how like this area looks right here. So I'm gonna use some more concealer to see if this kind of fixes the problem I'm having. I see Kate the Great Beauty is here, guys. Kate the Great is here. <laughs> I love me some Kate the Great. I mean, who wants to see Kate on my channel? Because, first of all, I can't wait for this whole, like, epidemic to be, like, over so I can finally collab with people in real life. But, I mean, who wants to see more of Kate on my channel? Because I kind of need to see it. Okay, so back to these. Cream bronzer, yes. Foundation, no. That's how I feel about it as of right now. Now let me set this shit before I feel like I have to wipe it all off. Better Off Red is here. Guys, are you are you subscribed to Sarah? Sarah of Better Off Red. <laughs> I feel like Kate now. Yay. If you're not following either Kate the Great or Better Off Red, get your life together. Oh my God, she did. Who's on TikTok? Who is on TikTok? Because if you are, I haven't posted on there in a minute because I just don't have time for that right now. Sarah posted like the wipe, wipe, wipe it down, wipe. She posted one of hers today and she transformed into, what was it, Pennywise? Oh my girl, I died. I died. It's so good. Go follow her. Go follow Kate. Go. Listen, if you go on like my main page, I have a list of channels where it says like current channels I'm loving. If you go to my homepage, they're on there. They're, they're all on there. Just subscribe to all of them because if you like me, you're going to love them. Um, <laughs> that TikTok video was amazing, right? So talented. Okay, let me go in. Let me find my, hold on, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Let me take my Charlotte Silbury. What is this? The Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm going to set this for my under eyes today, I think. I'm going to use my Wayne Goss, the Airbrush. The best brush of all time for the under eyes. It's so fucking soft. I, I really need to get a, like a full size of this because I'm like digging in here to try to get product right now. I couldn't find my Pat McGrath powder. And that's a problem. Oh, uh, let's see. And it's so nice to see someone not afraid to do different looks on each eye. Girl, you're welcome. Why not? It gives you more variety. We love we love some options on this channel. <laughs> I'm always like, a bitch loves some options. So I always need to set my under eyes. If you don't, 
good for you, but I do. And then I like to bring this down because I have all of my large pores are right here. I will say though, skin's looking fucking bomb right now. It just feels, it just feels a little heavy. That's a pricey problem. I know. <laughs> I know. It's somewhere in my drawer. I know it is. I've used the Pat McGrath concealer for two days. I'm in love. Girl, it's so good. I know. I know. Between the Dior, I really need to like get rid of this stash I got going on right now. Who else has a mustache? Give it a thumbs up if you have a mustache. Um, what was I saying? Oh, between like the Dior and the Pat McGrath, I'm like, I don't need another concealer. They're, they're literally all that I need are those two concealers. I need to get my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind again, though, because that was my ride or die for a while. Um, Pat McGrath has two. Oh, shit. Where did it go? Has two new palettes dropping tomorrow. Wait, what's the second one? I knew that one of them was. I knew that like the second rose palette was dropping. What's the other one? I don't know why this keeps happening. I think it's from my safety glasses. I have like an indent. You guys see that? That's like right where my safety glasses sits. And that's so fucking annoying. It drives me crazy whenever I knew my makeup. I got an alarm set for lunch tomorrow. Guys, I'm so pissed. So pissed. You know I'm a lunar beauty bitch. Okay? I'm sure most of us know that he launched a palette. Blush palette. I ordered it the day that it launched. And I got an email. I'm like... My friend Heather, I don't know if she's still here, Heather Austin, me and her, we were going to do a collab, like full face Lunar Beauty, because we're both obsessed, obsessed with Lunar Beauty, right? So I'm like, cool, she's got her palette, like her palette came yesterday. I'm like, oh, mine should be coming soon. I got a notification today. They oversold their blush palettes. So they're still shipping my glosses. So I'm like, okay, no big deal. I'll just buy it somewhere else. It's sold out everywhere. What am I going to do? <laughs> okay, that's that's over-exaggerating. But still, I'm not happy about it. I'm so mad. Like, the blush palette sold out before it even launched. <laughs> like, why? Um, God, I'm so having deja vu right now. That's the weirdest thing. I just seen this comment right here. I second that your hair is fire. I swear to God I dreamt this right now. I dreamt looking at myself in the monitor. Do, does anybody else have that? That was so fucking weird. I was like, whoa, I know I've seen this right now. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, I'm a psychic. I totally just had deja vu. That was so fucking weird. Okay, let me get back to this shit. Wow. Let me, okay. I'm still deciding how I feel about the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, okay? I have the shade tan. I did a first impression on it already. I've been using my Wayne, or not my Wayne Goss. This is the Chico Hodo Z11, one of my favorite brushes ever. I've been using that brush. It's a natural hair brush. And I'm like, sometimes I like this bronzer and sometimes I don't. So I'm like switching up my brushes and stuff to see if I like it. So I'm going to use the BK104. I think I used this brush in my first impressions video. If I can remember after, I'll leave that link down below. Oh, but I'm still deciding. Oh, Manny said it will be six to eight weeks for until restock too. I know, girl, it's a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Kate, Kate makes me second guess this freaking bronzer right now. Because I'm like, okay, Kate is like head over heels in love with this bronzer. And I'm like, I want to love it as much as Kate does. <laughs> Because it's like, okay, I feel like this is what happens is I like it when I put it over a cream bronzer, but it always kind of looks funky. Does it look like that to you guys? I don't know. Maybe it's just like, I just noticed it right on my forehead before I started blending it out. I feel like I really have to like blend this out. But when I do... I wonder if it's because of the shade that I got. I wonder if I would like the shade medium better. But then I don't know if I would be able to see it. I don't know. Because when I watched my... I watched the footage for 
when I was editing my um, my empties video, I had this on as well. And I'm like, oh, okay, my bronzer looks really good. I think it might be too, because I'm just usually a fan of luminous bronzers. And this is a matte bronzer. Maybe that's what it is. Because I'm like, I don't know. It's just something that I'm like, hmm. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks good? Is she cute? Is she cute though? I'm so like I could not be more sweaty right now. I don't think that's a lie. Yes, I could be, but I'm so fucking hot. Let's see. Fun fact: Deja vu isn't actually real. When we feel it, it's because our brain, our brain misfires and think it's seen new information before. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I believe that. I truly don't know if I believe that because there's things that happen to me. Like that, it was like, I know I've seen that before. I know I've seen me look like this before. It's so weird. Um, Julie asks, do I like the Kosas or the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer better? Me personally, I like the Kosas better. Because I usually like a luminous bronzer better. This is, it, it's, it's going to be what you like. Do you like a, a matte bronzer or do you like a luminous bronzer? Because... That alone is going to make them so different. I feel like I have to, like, work more with this one. This is, like, one I'm, like, I'm really glad that I have it, but would I repurchase it? I don't think I would. But I kind of want to get a different shade, but I really don't want to spend $55 on a different shade. Because <laughs> it's, like, when I look at it, I'm, like, okay, she looks cute. How do you, like, do you guys think it's good? Do you guys think it looks good? It's just different than what I'm, like, used to seeing on me, you know? Okay, anywho, let's get back to the purpose of this video right now. So, another product that I hauled is another eyeshadow palette. Like, I bought three different eyeshadow palettes within this haul. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I still do not like this palette. I need to actually bring this in a throwback Thursday because... I was looking at this color story when I did my eyeshadow palette declutter and I'm like, you know, it looks so nice. It looks so pretty. Why don't I try to use it again? So I think I'm going to bring this back. Do you guys want this next Thursday? Cause I'm usually a big fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it's, it's one of those palettes. It's like, it looks pretty until you put it on your eyes. But these metallics though are so like, I went that purple is a little lackluster for me. But this shade, Soul, I thought was such a unique shade. But it's so, like, it's so, like, chalky. But look at that shade, though. It's like a periwinkle purple. It's so, like, I don't know. I need to I need to reach for this one again. Norvina for Throwback Thursday. Do you guys, okay, let me know if you guys want this for a Throwback Thursday. Because this one is still available. I think I have it linked at Ulta. But I still, like, every time I've used that, I'm like, I feel like I have to work so hard to get it to look, like, subpar. But we'll bring this, we'll do, like, a designated, like, Throwback Thursday ABH Norvina palette. So it's not hella long. If you guys want to see that, yes. Um, It looks bomb, but the shade does look a little dark. Yeah. Okay. I think that was for the bronzer. I got the tan shade because I know I get super dark in the summertime. But where I think I should have ordered medium is because this would be a bronzer. Maybe I'll exchange this for a lighter shade. I could justify doing that because I feel like this would be a bronzer I would wear in fall winter because that's when I'm more likely to use matte. Maybe I'll do that. That kind of sounds like a good idea because it's $55. You know? <laughs> okay. So let me see what else I had. I don't think I got a blush during this haul. Let me take a sip because I'm parched. Let me see what else that I missed, if anything. Oh, Batty B. I don't have these right now, but these Batty B lashes are some of my favorite lashes. This was just like the packaging that it came in. They did change their packaging, which I'm not really a fan of. I think it used to be more high quality packaging than it is now, but I'm. it's still like the same type of concept. It's got like the magnetized, uh, Closure. Wow. There you go. I got a comment on my empties video today and somebody's like, wow, you talked about the Olimar Cosmetics lashes for too long. It's like, 
let me live my damn life and try to explain shit to you guys, okay? <laughs> so with these lashes, I love these. I know they're more expensive. They're, I think, $19. Sugar Baby is my favorite because they're going to be tapered. So it's going to be lighter on the, or lighter, shorter on the inner corner. And then it tapers to be longer. So it gives you almost like a cat eye effect. They're Gorgina. They're going to be more like, I feel like all of the Baddie B lashes are more dramatic, but they're gorgeous. And they last a really long time. I could wear these like 30 plus times. So for me, they're worth the price tag that they are. So I still highly recommend them. I wear them all the damn time. I just need to buy them again because I would definitely buy them again. Um, let me look at this little list right here. Let me take another sip because one sip was not enough. Mm. Oh, I covered a lot of stuff already. Wow. Good for me. I already covered the Morphe. Oh, Batiste dry shampoo. I talk about that all the time. That's still my favorite dry shampoo. I get the tinted versions because the non-tinted versions, they leave like a white cast in my hair. So I still love the Batiste. You can get them at Ulta. They're like what, like 10 bucks for a bottle. You can get them even at the drugstore. I just usually get them at Ulta when they're like, buy one, get one free. I still love those. And then I already talked about the continuous setting spray. I got a few lip products and then, okay, so I didn't have any blush products. So I'm going to use my NARS Orgasm X palette. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't get enough of this palette. It's so good. If you do, you guys want a dedicated video to this? Like, I feel like I talk about this in every single video lately, but it like it deserves its own video. But I'm not going to use the whole palette. I'm just going to use the blushes. I'm going to use my refer. This is my refer 04, and I'm going to use. I think I'm just going to use the shade Orgasm, the middle one. This is like the original Orgasm, but this palette, you guys, is so so good. It's so good. I didn't even use a cream brush, br cream blush today. I almost said a cream brush. <laughs> I didn't even use a cream blush today. Mark it down on the calendar, you guys. I do think Orgasm X though is prettier than the original Orgasm. The original Orgasm I think would be better for like fair to me, fair to like light medium. Because I would consider this complexion right now like a medium skin tone. So it, it like still shows up. It's got that really beautiful gold reflect to it. But I think you'll see more of the pinky like tint to it if you are a lighter complexion than what I am right now. Um, I want a dedicated video, but I'm also terrified on that dedicated video. It will, Christina, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to buy it like after watching me talk about it for like a solid video. Because <laughs> I'm just going to sell the shit out of it because it's, fucking amazing. Amazing. I'm going to leave this linked in the description box after the fact, because I cannot get enough of this damn thing. If you guys want, a I, I'm like at the point, I'm like, do I even need to do a dedicated video? To <laughs> I mean, maybe I should. So NARS maybe sees it, but it's, it's bomb. It's a bomb ass blush palette, especially like if I drop one more brush, I swear to God, I drop a brush on my floor. Every single video never fails. It's in my Sephora cart waiting. <laughs> it's so good. It's so expensive, but it's so, I love it so much because I could use all the shades in it and I can mix them all together. It's like my perfect cheek palette. And then it gives you like, I know a lot of people, you know, no, I'm going to save it for if I do a dedicated video because I don't need to ramble on about that because that's not what this video is about, you guys. <laughs> okay, let me go to the other highlighter palette. So I got not one, but two highlighter palettes during this haul. The other one that I got is one of my favorites in my collection. This Dior face palette, like still Gorgina, still love it so much. I don't think I've ever touched this shade right here, but these other ones, I'm actually going to use this today though. I think I'm going to put it over my bronzer. We're going to do that. Let's do it today. So let me take, where's my Wayne Goss airbrush? I'm this is like, I love this brush so much. So I'm going to first take, I want to use all of them. Let's use them all. I'm going to first take the gold one. This is going to be my main highlight. I wish this had a mirror because I can't see shit. All that I can see is like my camera. 
And then I'm looking in this mirror down here, but it doesn't show me like what you guys are seeing because the reflection is different. How's, I'm like, how's it look, you guys? <laughs> I can see when it's on this side, though. Here we go. Mm, it's so beautiful. Gorgina. And this is still available. It's a gorgeous palette. I'll never get rid of this. It will never die. So what have you guys been up to the past few days? I know I was MIA for a couple days and then I had my empties video yesterday. And obviously now I'm back today. What were you guys up to this week? Anything fun and exciting? <laughs> Sherry, you're beaming. Makeup by Michelle. Guys, that's another channel. I just found her and she's so damn cute. Makeup by Michelle. Go check out her channel. This one's about to fall out. Oh no. I'm going to take this on the point because we came to slay, bitch. I'm just going to put this on like the super, super high point just so I could use all these shades. Whenever I use lighter shades like this, I like to focus them on the higher points so my face itself doesn't look, so it doesn't get like the white cast to it because it is so light. You can't really see much of what it just did there, but she did something. And then I'm going to take this pink one. This is why I like this brush so much, because it's like you could change the shape of it. I'm going to be lit to the gods, because I'm using this as a blush tone. <laughs> I have so much highlight. I'm going to have so much highlight on my face right now. And then I want to take this deeper shade. I, I never do this, but for the video's sake, okay? We're going to turn that matte bronzer into a luminous bronzer. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, much, so much highlight. I would never do that on a regular basis. I would never highlight back there <laughs> i would never put like a look at i have like this whole area just highlight and we're not mad about it <laughs> so much highlighter okay anywho that was almost the last product that i bought let me spray this mug really quick i need to get like a mattifying setting spray <laughs> because of how insane I look. I'm gonna use this. Oh, I might regret this one. The Skin and Coroma. No, I'm not, cause I'm gonna get dots all over my face. I love the, the scent of that spray, but it has like a, it's got like that direct spray so that I don't necessarily love. I'm not using the Hourglass because we don't need to glow any more than we do right now. I feel like that setting spray is better for if you have like a matte foundation on. I'm just going to use my Gerard Cosmetics, my mint chocolate chip setting spray. Oh, it feels so good right now because I'm so hot. <laughs> That's the only reason why I'm spraying myself like crazy. Look at that highlight though. Teresa's dad loves that Dior palette too. It's so good. It's so beautiful. I love the fact that I could use all the shades. I could mix all the shades, I'm pretty sure. What do you guys think of the Born to Run palette, though? I like the purples better, I think. Except that Cover FX liquid shadow that I put on there. I'm not a fan of that. But this is definitely a palette for me for, like, spring, summer. Or fall, winter, not spring, summer. I want to just dab out. Dab it out. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> just because we're going to look. We're going to look dewy because that's how the setting spray is, is it gives you the dew. Um, Christina says, I can't decide whether or not to get the original Dior pale or the peachy one. I think it's a personal preference thing. What shades call to you more? My nose itches. I ended up giving my Born to Run palette to my sister. I regret, <laughs> I regret since she loves it. Yes. I never loved the Born to Run. I need to use it more, I think. I like it more for fall winter for sure i mean no regrets oh i meant no <laughs> um she likes the goldie eye better 
I think it's only because I can't see it where I'm not like living for it. But it's nice though. I like the, I just like purples better on me. That's just my personal preference. I got a half price and I haven't used it much. Now that I'm thinking about it, did I buy mine when it was on sale? I thought I bought it when it like relatively newish, but I could be very wrong. Okay. Update on this foundation. It looks so heavy. This is the, um, that fast basic foundation in F10. It looks so, it looks way better on camera. In person though, my pores are popping right now. So food for thought. I think it's definitely better for bronzer. Okay. Next thing is going to be, oh my God, my nose itches so bad, like right up in here. God, why do you guys watch my videos? So I got two, two different brands lipsticks. So I bought initially three of these. I don't know where the other one went. So I still have the shade Sex on the Peach and Beach, please. And then I also got the Mix and Matte Lip Duo from Flower Beauty. I still have these. I still love them. And they still smell okay. They're two years old. So this is going to be Sex on the Peach. These smell like peaches. Smell so nice. Love it. Packaging is super super bouge. I love the packaging on these. This is going to be beach please. And these are going to be like one swipe pigmentation. That shade is Gorgina. I love that shade for spring and summer. And then this mix and matte lip duo. This is in the shade honey nude from flower beauty. Another Gorgina. It's going to be this one right here. I love the fact that it's got a lipstick and then it's almost like a shimmery gloss on the other side. I just never reach for this. I don't know why. Because it is really pretty. Which one do you guys want to see me use? So this is going to be the um, mix and match. And then peach, ble peach, please. Beach, please. Peach, beach. Wow, I was close. <laughs> peach, beach, or sex on the peach. Which one do you guys want to see on my lips? I feel like honey dude is probably the most, you know, like cohesive with this look right now. Let me wipe these off. And then I'm going to put some mascara on really quick. I'm just going to use this L'Oreal Age Perfect Mascara. Not a fan of this one, but it it's just like an okay mascara. I'm not going to put lashes on because, quite frankly, I need to order more because I don't have any right now. Mark that down on your calendars. Brittany is all out of false lashes. Because here's why. I'm so annoyed about it, but I understand why. I used to get my Kiss 11 lashes at Walmart all the time. And now, especially since this whole COVID-19 bullshit, they want you to cut, like, contact a worker to get the eyelashes off. Like, you can't even take them off the thing anymore. They have, like, a stopper and, like, they're locked on there. I'm like, I'm not going to call somebody to get me a package of eyelashes. No, thank you. I'll just go to another drugstore whenever, if they're even open. It's so hard to tell, like, if stuff is even, like, open right now. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of Peach Beach. Okay. I just saw so many Peach Beach comments, so that's the one we're going to roll with. Peach Beach. Yeah, I mean, this mascara, it's just, like, okay. It's better than it was when I initially, because I think I did like a first impression on this Age Perfect line. And I don't think, I think this is the only thing I've really used since. The concealer I haven't really touched. That was like my favorite thing at the time. This is better since it's like dried out a little bit because it was a really, really wet formula. So it's better. It's just still, it's not the fave. Okay. Peach, Peach Beach was the winner. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> the name sex on the peach makes me laugh. <laughs> okay, let's go in with peach beach. And these are going to be matte lipsticks. Look at that pigmentation though. Oh, that shade's so nice. I think these are available on, I have them linked. I think it's Sephora. Actually, no. I think these were all sold out. So you might be only able to get them on Too Faced website. Maybe. 
if they even still make them. I know they had like a a packaging situation with actually Tatcha because I think Tatcha like sued them over this packaging or something like that. I want to take because I want to keep using these lippies. Oh no, I left it out. The one that I wanted to use. I'm going to take this Wayne Goss lip gloss. That's not the one I want to use. I want to use the um, other one. Hold on. Where is it? I did a first impression on these as well. The Wayne Goss lipsticks, lip liner, lip glosses. And also, guys, if you didn't see my last, it was not my last video. It was my most recent lip swatch video. These Propa Beauty lipsticks. I'm so done with how Gorgina that formula is. But I want to try this gloss. Oh, that looks so nice. These remind me so much of the Marc Jacobs High Shine Lip Lacquers. It's like Marc Jacobs High Shine Lip Lacquer with Bite Beauty. What were they? The lip glosses that Bite Beauty did last year. It's like with that applicator, just a little bit smaller. Mmm. Oh my God, Propa Beauty sold out. Restock is in mid-June. Holy shit, they sold out completely. I went to get more shades like the next day and the shades that I wanted sold out. Like when I have my makeup done, I like my hair so much better. <laughs> oh my God. So mid-June, you guys, keep an eye out for those Propa Beauty lipsticks. They're so nice. I have several of those peach lipsticks and they're so good. Peach Beats is beautiful, right? So good. Oh yeah, I remember the Tatcha Too Faced thing. They did look almost identical. Yeah, they definitely did. <laughs> I thought you were going to even out by doing a mattifying setting spray. Brandy, I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have a mattifying setting spray. I thought I said I need one. Look at this. You can see where my regrowth. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. It's getting fixed. Yes, Brandy, I needed one, but I don't have one. Um, wow, all sold out. That's crazy. So, what'd you guys think of that? Wow. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? What did you guys think of tonight's video? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What was your favorite product that I used today? I think everything looks really beautiful, especially on camera. In person, it definitely looks heavier. Like my foundation looks really heavy. My foundation's like my least favorite thing. What was the favorite thing that you guys saw today? And then I'm going to finish up my drink in the process. Um, Trish said, love that. Thanks, girl. I like these so much better live. This one was kind of a shit show because I was trying to like refer back to like my haul and everything. I don't know if I'll do another one like this. Do you guys want, okay. Do you guys want me to like focus on specific products? Like how I was going to do like the ABH Norvina palette? Or do you like it when I do like a full face of stuff? Just because I value your guys' time, too. And I know not everybody loves our plus long videos. You could really see. Okay, I must be, like, really in focus right now. Do you see how, like, my pores look massive right now? That's also why I don't like that Hydro Grip Primer, though. Because it does nothing for my pores. Love the board to run, but the lipstick are amazing! Trish says full face, Urban Decay, Born Aram, need to use it more. Yes, girl. I like the full face so I can see it all come together. Isn't watching makeup being done so satisfying? Actually, I'm not done. I wanted to do my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. Hold the phone. Let me take, no, not that brush. My Wayne Goss 05. It's another little pencil brush. I'm going to take the shade... I think I'm just going to use Breakaway. Normally, I just use, like, the face highlighter. This is what I feel like the purpose of this shade is, though. Like, inner corner highlighter. And peak of the brow. I'm just going to do the same on this side. It kind of reminds me of, like, MAC Nylon. 
except I think Mac Nylon is more vibrant and poppy. But normally I would use my face highlighter. But not all the time. Not all the time. I got a little eye booger. Got me a little eye booger. Let me take some of that stranded shade. Yeah, it's okay. She okay. Now, this is like a the purpose of this brush, I feel. The Chico Hodo Z11. This is like my finisher. Finish him. Just marry it all together. Okay, this isn't the only purpose of this brush. But for today, it's the only purpose. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so you guys are liking the long videos. I'm with it. I love it. Um, Full face, full face. Eyes and lips. Born to run is good palette. I like the long videos. Um, have to wear my Too Faced lipstick tomorrow to work now. See, isn't this fun? Like, that's why I love... Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Yes, I do. That's why I really like these videos. Because I even see, like, you guys are leaving comments like, oh, I want to reach for this more. And I feel like it's helping you guys reach for your collection more, too. I love that. I love Throwback Thursdays. Um, this is really fun to look back. Love the Born to Run palette. Yes! I love filming full face, but they take so long. <laughs> even longer to edit. I know. I think they're not as popular as they used to be. But I still love them. It's definitely satisfying to watch. Yeah, it's like watching the whole thing, like... Even when I'm filming weddings, like, I'll just sit there and watch the makeup artists do makeup because I think it's so satisfying to just watch people do makeup. It's so, it's not weird because we're all, we all love that, I think. Um, do you have any Mac singles? That would be fun to see for a throwback video. I do not. The only throw, or, <laughs> I'm having such a hard time talking tonight. The only Mac shadow, like, single shadow that I've ever had is nylon. Fun fact. I came into, like, the YouTube sphere when Mac was like on its way out, like when people stopped caring about Mac, that's actually a brand that I want. Like, I wish that they had more interesting products because I feel like I would love them. Because they, like back in the day, you weren't shit if you didn't use Mac. You know what I mean? Um, even if I miss a live, I watch the playback. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Very fun to watch later. <laughs> Kimberly, Kimberly's on it. She's like, we have 74 likes. Guys, did you like this video yet? Did you share this video? Anytime, listen, if you didn't watch, do you guys follow Michelle Long? Because if you didn't, she posted a video yesterday on how she makes money on YouTube. And I feel like I wanted to tell you guys about this because it really gives you, even if you don't do YouTube as a job, even as viewers, I think it would really help you guys understand like what we do like on the back end of YouTube because it's no secret, like people on YouTube make money. Like when you guys use affiliate links, you, we make money by use, you using those links and so on and so forth. But if you guys love watching our content, it kind of gives you the idea of like what things that you guys could do to help us, you know, like get further. Like I always get the comments like, oh, I should have more subscribers, which I don't give a fuck. Honestly, I'm just like, I would rather have like a smaller group of people that always watch my shit than have just like millions of people following me. You know what I mean? But it's like, if you like the video, if you share the videos, like share them on your other social medias and stuff like that, that helps us so insanely much. Like when you shop our affiliate links, it helps us reinvest into our channels. It's like one of those things. And I got so annoyed today because I saw, of course, some bigger influencers are ranting about how People shouldn't come for influencers for making money on YouTube because they don't disclose their links. And it I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Jacqueline Hill was like saying that if you don't want to support people or if you don't want people to make money, just unfollow them. That's not at all correct. Like most YouTubers do make money, but there's a lot of YouTubers that like barely make money or don't make money. And I know people are weird about money in general. Like I do make money from YouTube, but not a lot. I make more from like affiliate links and stuff like that. And like, yes, there is a point to, if you don't want like YouTubers to make money, like unsubscribe, unfollow, like delete the app, whatever. But there's a difference between like us being upfront and honest. Like anytime I have affiliate links or anything like that, it always is indicated what is like affiliate. I just got so annoyed when I saw that today. Like 
I don't even follow these people and I still see their shit. It's so fucking annoying to me. Oh my God. Um, Laura says, I watched her video and I have no intention of doing YouTube. It was interesting. Yeah, it is. It's, it's fascinating to know like, like what we deal with. You know what I mean? Or just like, wait, cause it is, it's time. It's, it's cost us money to produce content, you know? So I don't see anything wrong with YouTubers making money. It's if you're honest about it, like if you're not hiding anything, like I feel like I'm very like upfront, honest and very transparent when it comes to like, if I make money from things, I don't know. It's all in how you portray it to your audience. I think Michelle, Michelle Wong is amazing. I love her so much. Michelle is seriously the shit. She is the fucking best. Well, nylon is a good one to have. I always like the formula of Mac better than makeup geek. But I think I'm in the minority. Kimberly, you are in the minority because I used to have Mac shit, like a couple, but Makeup Geek always like knocked my socks off. And then it was the price difference though. When the price difference was like $6 difference, I was like, yeah, no, I have no interest because I always loved Makeup Geek. Um, Planning on getting YouTube subscription to help out now. I know, sorry, I'm unable to sit through ads no matter how much I love you. Hey, it's not for everybody. I actually pay for the YouTube free YouTube premium. So I don't have to sit through ads. That's like a big perk because I watch so much YouTube and I know not everybody watches YouTube. Like I do, like I like listen to YouTube. Like I listen to TV in the background. YouTube is essentially my TV. So I pay for the premium. So I never have to hear ads and it's the fucking best thing ever. The best thing ever. I also watch your videos multiple times with you on the background. Thanks, girl. That definitely helps. Like, it gets our watch time up. It gets our views up. It's it's awesome to hear that you guys do that. Why is it so bad to be honest with your subscriber? Although, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm getting Dr. Seuss vibes with the blue hair and red tie. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Ooh, I love that. Um... I need to watch that. I thought of starting a channel, but it would be, it would have to be for fun. Yeah. Like mine, it still is for fun. Like I still, like I, I'm at the point now I make money, but it's it like a shit. <laughs> I make, I make significantly more now just when you guys shop affiliate links. That's where I make like the way that Michelle breaks it down is such a good way to understand it. Cause it's like based on what you make from like YouTube ads, you don't make shit from YouTube. Plus YouTube takes like 30% of if you guys send super chats and everything like that, like any, even if you do, I think like memberships and stuff like YouTube still takes a part of it. So that's why a lot of YouTubers are even doing like Venmo donations. If you guys wanted to do that. Um, it's just, it's, it's just, I don't see anything wrong with it just because of how much, like how I know, like, look at my Sephora haul, how much money I spent. You know what I mean? It's like, we're always buying stuff to review it. Not all of us get PR. It's, I don't know. It's, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's how you portray it to your audiences. If your audience, if you're honest about like, if you're using an Amazon affiliate link, post that it's an affiliate link. Like, I don't know. I get, I understood it to a point with her saying like, this is like the the society that we're in like people make money on youtube but the fact of the matter is like there's guidelines that we're supposed to follow like ftc guidelines like people are supposed to know when they're shopping affiliate links that just is what it is like and when you don't disclose that it's affiliate links that's a fucking problem i'm just saying and there's certain people that do there's a lot of people that do but there's also a lot of people that don't for shizzle and can you go? I can't stop staring at your lips. The color is out of this world. Gorgina. Love it. Um, I hear she's back. I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just like, whatever. I just, I didn't like how it, it made other people look bad. And I hate that. I hate like making other people look bad to make yourself look better. I hate that shit. It's like, if you were honest about you using affiliate links like you're supposed to people would not be pissed at you for it that's how that's why i always try to be like if i was sent something i always try i always try to for like 
make sure you guys know. But then like, there's times that I still forget. There's, I mean, I can only imagine like the amount of PR that people get, like it's impossible for them to remember like, oh, was this sent to me? Was this this? Was this this? Like some of the things it's, it's like ridiculous where like in the video where you're supposed to say that it's PR, you're supposed to put it on the screen that it's PR. So if people aren't listening, they can see it. There's a lot of guidelines that we're supposed to follow that are pretty ridiculous, but with affiliate links, it's not hard to put like ad or affiliate link. It's not hard to do that. And you know, if you're using your own affiliate links, like, you know, if you're linking those because you go out of your way to link them, you know, when you're using affiliate links for people to use, you know what I mean? That's where I'm just like, don't make other people look bad to make yourself look better. I hate that shit. <laughs> Boom. Mic drop. <laughs> oh, Kelly, I'm with you. I'm with you. 30% is outrageous. Yeah, that's, that's where when you hear, I'm hearing it a lot more now um, with the whole like Venmo and PayPal donations like people are doing. It's it's because YouTube takes that cut. And <laughs> it's just, it's, I mean, I understand because YouTube is a business and obviously they're the platform that we're on and we wouldn't have the platforms that we do if it wasn't for YouTube. But the it's like, we already don't make a lot with YouTube. And then when people want to make donations, they do it through YouTube and then YouTube still takes part of it. You know what I mean? Um, makeup by Michelle or makeup. I always say by Michelle makeup with Michelle. I haven't hit enough subscribers or watch hours yet to even become monetized. I think people underestimate how difficult it is to even get monetized. I was lucky enough. I'm telling you, if you guys haven't watched Michelle Wong's video about like how it, it's titled, how I make money on YouTube. It just, it really puts it into perspective. Even if you're not a, a YouTuber, if you're just a viewer and you want to understand it a little bit better, but that's another thing. Like I, I had been monetized before this whole, like you have to have a certain amount of subscribers. You have to have a certain amount of watch time. So what watch time is, is when people are watching your videos, how long that you're watching these videos for. So that's why, like, I'm always like, okay, do you guys like longer videos? Because watch time does affect like how long you guys are actually watching, how long you're actually engaging with it. Like when you're hitting the thumbs up, thumbs downs, comments, all that sort of stuff. And then for smaller channels, like, like Michelle, she has to have a certain amount of people watching her things. And if she doesn't hit that threshold, like it could be years until she finally gets monetized. So that's where it's go subscribe to Michelle. Like she's a new YouTube channel. Like Michelle, when did you start your channel? You're relatively new, right? I just found her recently from her coming on my live chats. <laughs> I love that though. Uh, let's see. What do we got? I'm still not done with my drink. So we'll, um, oh, everybody's going to go over to Michelle's channel. Yes. Another thing that I never knew, I think it was, um, Jen loves reviews. She was talking about it in one of her live chats. Um, she was saying that if you, cause I always tell people, I feel like I talk pretty slow. So when I would rewatch, I would always put it on like 1.25 or like one and a half to get it just so it's like faster. You know what I mean? From what Jen was saying, if you watch on playback, if you watch it at like a sped up, the YouTuber doesn't make as much money because you're watching it faster. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's a thing that I definitely heard. Um, Brady says favorite item was a Dior backstage highlighter palette. Yes. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> she is influencing. <laughs> oh, oh, I just skipped made all. I have a, I have a few videos on my channel from years ago and I always indicated everything that was purchased by me or by friend and affiliate links or not. Yeah, that's exactly. That's what you're supposed to do. Like people only come for, people only get pissed off when you're not doing the right thing. But then it's like, if, if you see that people aren't doing the right thing, just don't, don't, don't use them. I mean, that's where it's like, I, I get her frustration because it's like, if you don't like it, don't use it. But then how are you supposed to feel about it? If you, if you just genuinely don't know, I think that's where the problem is, is these people don't know that they're using these links. I don't know. I, don't, I guess it really, at the end of the day, it doesn't fucking matter. It's, if this person is telling you about something and you're interested in to buy it, like you wouldn't have bought it without that person telling you about it anyways. 
So in one breath, it's like, okay, it's ridiculous. But then don't get on your IG story and bitch and complain about people coming for you for not indicating that your links are affiliate links. You know what I mean? Mm. Okay, I gotta go. Guys, do not buy it before I do. It's back in stock at Sephora. Okay, I'm gonna go off for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, please thumbs it up, thumbs it down if you don't like it, subscribe to my channel. Go check out the channels that I featured or I talked about in this video today. Other than that, I think I'll be back. What's today, Thursday? I'll probably be back on Saturday at some point. I wanna do a morning, like get ready with me or something like that. Maybe Saturday or Sunday, keep an eye on my community page, Twitter, Instagram. Everything is always at underscore Britt Clark if you wanna follow me on my other social medias. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in my next one. What it's gonna be, I'm not really sure. I'm trying to get my, my things figured out right now. So, okay, now I'm done. Bye. <laughs>